Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yehuda and the truth. Iber Tov, fellow just young, she's sleepy. Um, we are continuing on tonight with the return of Yehusha. And um, please, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and share below so that the, that the message of Yehua can get to as many people as possible. And um, <clears throat> there's a donation link down in the description box. If you would like to donate to my ministry, and I also make seat seats if anyone is interested, um, just let me know it, down in the comments. Or you can leave a note um, with uh, your donation and um, just put on there that it's for a set of Z seats. Okay, so we are on false witnesses. Many who teach er erroneous religious doctrines are false witnesses because they deny the covenant made with Yasharal or Israel as is known today and excuse their teachings and of disobedience to it by claiming not to be Yasharal but Gentiles we find from scripture that all who are not of Yasharal <clears throat> must engraft and become Yasharal Romans 11 the rules and teachings don't change at all, but somehow believing they do makes the hearers feel comfortable and even superior because they claim J-E-S-U-S -S as their savior. They also have been taught that Yahuwah is three persons or three, three beings in one person or something like that. They also have as their savior, but he is one. Yes, only one. <laughs> they also have been taught that Yahuwah is three persons, yet one Allahim, which is also wrong. It's incorrect. Yes, all the same, like my husband said. <laughs> you believe that Allahim is one, you do well. The demons also believe and shudder. Jacob James 2.19 there are six things which Yahuwah hates. Yes, seven which are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked purposes. Feet that are swift in running to mischief. A false witness that utters lies. And he that sows discord among the brethren, like someone's been doing recently. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Someone in the comments, but I'm going to be praying for them. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Yehukanen 13, 34, and 35. <clears throat> it's okay for us to be discerning of teachings, and we must make judgments according, or, sorry, concerning them according to what Scripture teaches. <clears throat> We cannot judge the outcomes of people themselves because we don't know when or if they will get knocked down or straightened out by Yahusha. We are told to love both our brethren and our enemies. Even a beginner in the faith can de or a muna can determine that the methods used by Catholicism were based on gross misunderstandings. Catholicism itself was the Roman state religion instituted by Constantine, not Yahusha or the Apostles. The system of dispensing grace, but we call it favor, <clears throat> through its priesthood grew so large and powerful that it was able to influence every nation it came into contact with. The Roman calendar. <clears throat> Let me see here. Sorry. <clears throat> Catholicism itself was the Roman state religion instituted by Constantine, but Yahusha or the, but, but not by Yahusha or the apostles. <clears throat> the, 
This system of dispensing grace through his priesthood, sorry. Okay, here we go. The Roman calendar became the CHURCH or circus calendar and it and lat and kept its latin names for the months about half of which are named for roman deities false allahims but the secret of lawlessness which denies and conceals the true message of the renewed covenant is today being exposed and revealed the one who is doing the revealing is yahusha the spirit or Ruach of Yahusha in us, guiding us into all truth. He is the one who will be who will who will reveal the lawless one. He is the one in the midst of the seven assemblies of Nazarene. The seven assemblies revelation are successive over time. Prophets live today. Next time we will be reading Blasphemy Against the Ruach. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson tonight. And now is my favorite, favorite part. It is time to praise Yahuwah. And a sister told me that this song, um, when I sang it on Nazarene Life, um, she said that it, it was a... Um, a witness to her very many times and I feel that made me feel very happy and in my Ruach because um, uh, Yahusha through me made her made her feel better through my music or through Yahusha's music through me so all praise to the most high for that last days and I feel like this song is fitting for tonight because there's been a lot of people that have been kind of scornful towards me and my husband lately me on my channel plus my me and my husband in, in our in, in our new home so here we go <laughs> no weapon formed against me shall prosper no trap from the wicked shall prosper no snare from the devil shall prosper. Yahuwah knows who are his. Do your utmost to show yourself approved. Be ye not deceived by wolves in sheep's clothing. For in the last days there will be blasphemers and evildoers. Do not subject me to gossip and slander. For I will turn and walk away. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No trap from the wicked shall prosper. No snare from the devil shall prosper. Praise the Most High for His loving kindness. The Ruach HaKodesh sustains me. Do not subject yourselves to the wicked. It will only ever end in strife. Do not cast your pearls unto swine. Yahuwah says, they said, thus keep my commands, for I call you mine. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you, and purify your hearts. Hallelujah, all praise the Most High, Alua, hallelujah, Yahuwah, we love you. We love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abba Yahuwah and the Shamayim loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. And Bella says, Shalom, Shalom, and that she loves you all too. All right. Say bye-bye. Bye. Iberto. -bye. Bye.